Hello, hello! This is my first periscope. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Hi guys, just bear with me because this is my first periscope and I'm so excited. Um, so exactly one week ago, I reached the rank of gold in Young Living, which is a huge milestone for me. Um, I've been shooting for this goal since November of last year and now it's August and I finally got it. Um, so I'm really excited and I wanted to take this time to talk to you about um, you know what happened during those final moments. Um, so I'm gonna um, actually before I start I want to tell you my new Young Living, my new favorite Young Living product is their um, Le Bronte lip gloss. I'm not really into makeup um, it's just not something I have time for, but I use chapstick a lot. Um, and I found this to be really, really nice and glossy. And, um, this is actually the red color. It's the darkest one. Uh, but it's still pretty light and it just gives a little color to it. And then on the other side is an essential oil blend that is really, really nice and I wear it as a perfume. Um, so this is, you know, if you haven't checked out the lip gloss, check it out. I really like it. Okay. Um, so reflecting on gold, and like I said earlier, my name's Jen Farino, and now I am a gold in Young Living. I got to silver last year, uh, last May of 2014, and, um, and I just reached gold last week. So I want to talk to you about, you know, that process for me. Um, what my journey was like really in that final day um, because I was really close to gold and um, I I wanted I wasn't gonna let it you know go past me um, so what happened was in that last day August 31st I was 400 PV away from gold in just one leg so that means in one leg of my team um, I needed four hundred dollars or four hundred product value to be spent within that leg and this leg was pretty stagnant for the past couple days I was watching it and I was just staying still staying still I was at it was at um, fifty six hundred and I needed it to go to six thousand and it wasn't moving it was just stuck at fifty six thousand fifty six hundred and um, I, I needed it to just push up to six thousand and then I would be gold so what did I do to get it up 400? Well, um, in that last day, I called everyone in that team, um, texted them, messaged them, whatever what felt more most comfortable and um, felt like it was the best way to communicate with that person based on my relationship with them at that time. Um, and I always think phone calls are the best thing. And but sometimes it's just easier for people to text and they don't have time for a call and you know it's the last day of the month so I needed to talk to them uh, pretty quickly so what I found was I talked to them about the Young Living promotions during that during August I talked to them about a central reward order so this is something that needs to just be discussed even if you're not trying to reach a milestone because a lot of times people I find that people are placing essential reward orders and for whatever reason whether it's a credit card issue or something's out of stock or something is not getting processed with their essential rewards and um, it's unfortunate that they're waiting for their products and it's it's not getting pushed out so you want to look at your downline to see your downline viewer to see are your members getting their essential reward orders um, are they being processed and if not you can call Young Living you can call them and find out how you can help to, to you know the worst thing you want is someone to be waiting for their lavender and they think it's in the mail and it's not coming so it's the whole point of essential rewards is that you're magically getting your oils every month without even thinking about it um, I also had a couple people who were going to be missing out on commissions so they either enrolled someone or had someone place an order on their team and they did not place an order so they weren't they were going to miss out on their commissions for that month and I helped them get their orders placed so that, you know, that benefited my goal for, for gold, but it also got them a paycheck from Young Living that they would have completely missed out on. So you want to also look for that um, 
whether or not you're going for a rank in Young Living, you don't want anyone to miss out on commission if they, you know, deserve that. And 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 we um, want everyone to get what they they, they work for. I also um, there was a promotion last month that was for um, new members that they would get ten dollars off the premium starter kit. So I I asked. Um, people, if they knew any friends and family, they wanted to take advantage of this promotion. But I tried to make it as simple as possible. I sent them graphics that they can um, easily forward to their their um, friends and family if they wanted to get their kit. And I also sent them their personal sign-up link. So I wanted this, you know, I needed this to happen quickly. Um, you know, so I sent them the graphic and the sign-up link. The sign-up link I got from yl.pe. And that's a great website. You just put in the enroller and sponsor, and they'll email you your personal sign-up link. It's a short link, um, so that's really, really good to you know just make it seamless and easy for them, um, so that they can get their new members in that are are excited to get started. Also, uh, starting at four o'clock, so my you know starting to get closer and closer. So starting at four o'clock on that last day of the month. I launched a promotion to that certain leg in the team. So um, you can get very creative with your promotions. Um, it doesn't have to be to your entire team. It could be to certain legs within a team, um, or it could be your whole team. You can offer um, oil cases. You can oil offer labels. Um, you can offer compliant reference books. Um, and you know you can. There's different promotions that you can do. Whether it's for new signups for people who spend, you know, get that 190 PV promotion, um, or maybe it's pe people who want to join a center of rewards for the first time. There's different ways that you can stimulate movement in your in your team. And we'll talk more about that later. Okay, so I needed this one leg to go up 400 PV. It was really exciting. It was like kind of like watching a um, an exciting sports game how the numbers were just going um, up 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 you know little creeping up closer and closer to that 6,000 uh, and like I said it hadn't moved much in in like you know four days or so so I really had to hustle um, but my goal was not only to get it to 6,000 because that's where I needed it for gold but I wanted to get it a little bit above 6,000 so that I had some leeway if someone had to make a return or whatnot um, I, I had some cushion there. Um, and this is where I truly believe God's hand was in this because um, I'm not this good. <laughs> and um, so what happened was it not only went up 400, but it went up 700. So I had a, a very nice cushion up there, over 6,000. And um, I, I just I have to give the glory to God because it's it's not it's not in my power. I can't make people um, sign up. I can't ma force people to buy premium starter kits or you know what I can't. That's not that's not what I do. I you know try to make things easy for them. I try to um, you know show them how to how to you know I introduce them to either products or or educate, but. I never push, and you know, I'm not pushing any, putting any pressure on anyone. So that's, you know, um, I have to just step back and let it watch, and God unfolded it for me. And um, I think by nine o'clock that night, or ten o'clock that night, I sit with my sister Rachel Seiger, um, and we were cheering that I that it reached. But um, you know, all the hustle I did that day. I, I really give the credit to God and, and what He's done in my life and, and helped me um, achieve the goals for my family. So it's, it's been pretty amazing. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about two of my favorite leadership tips right now. My first tip um, is came from convention from when I was... Um, it was a Sunday morning, it was the last day of convention, and it was before convention started that day, and a bunch of diamond leaders joined together to 
um, provide a service where we would all worship and, and um, have church together at, at the Gaylord Texan. So um, it was quite wonderful. And the pastor who spoke uh, was a diamond leader himself. And um, I just, I just, my biggest takeaway from that was that when he wanted to grow his organization, he, his sponsor told him that if this was something he wanted to do, the number one thing that's most important for his organization is to pray for everyone in his team. And this has been something that I've been doing um, for my team, you know, regularly. Um, but it really drove it home that, you know, it's not just me. There's other leaders that see the importance of prayer. And we have a very unique situation in Young Living that people come to us with um, um, different kinds of issues, um, complaints. Um, I want to keep it compliant, so I'm not going to go into details, but, um, you know, they let us know what their needs are, and more so than any other type of business, I think. And because I got to hear these stories and build relationships with them, I truly love everyone in Young Living, and I can, you know, I may not be able to, um offer, you know, the best, um, I may not always know the exact oil that I need to re refer them to, um, just because I'm a stay-at-home mom, I'm not a doctor, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the field of, of curing, diagnosing, or treating anything, but I do know the power of prayer, um, and the power of prayer with essential oils. I think is just, you know, you got it. So, um, it, it just, it's, you know, it's something that I recommend to my team, um, to my leaders, is to continue to pray and to remember to pray for the people who are in your organization. And um, I think that's a really great tip. So, um, I don't care if you have just one member in your team or a million people in your team. You know, if you have a Young Living downline, you are a leader. And that person in your team, um, they need your prayers. Okay? So, um, you know, just take a couple moments out of your day and, and um, dedicate it to, you know, talking to God and, and ha continuing that conversation. Um, and I also want to talk about two of my favorite books right now. So I started off with this book, Circle of Success, and why is there a car on the front? Because Young Living will be stagnant. Your organization will be stagnant if you're not always moving. So this is basically a book about a roadmap on how to keep your organization moving. Okay? It, I, every time I give this book to someone, they read it. They say it's invaluable and it has so many great ideas just to stir ideas in their head and to get them thinking about different um, ways to get things moving. Okay, So if you haven't gotten this book, uh, youinfuse.com, they come in packages of 10. It's a really tiny book. It's a really, really quick read. Um, get a packet of 10 because you're going to want to get this in as many I mean, get a packet of 100 if you want, but get this in as many hands as possible. I think this is an invaluable tool, um, and Monique has made it very affordable. Okay, and then my second favorite book right now is by John C. Maxwell, and I want to tell you a little bit about um, how Young Living is, and I know Sue Pelicotti talks it like this, it's, it's personal growth with a paycheck, right? You want to... So your team will only grow as quick, you know, they, they won't, they're not going to surpass you. You're, the leader is going to grow as, as, and is going to move as fast as the team is going to move. So you want to always keep yourself growing and moving in that direction. So the John C. Maxwell that I've been reading a lot lately is his Leadership Bible. And this is, I just love the comments in this Bible. Um, you know, every week when my husband and I go to church, we're reading the book of Samuel now, um, but I love hearing his comments um, 
in this leadership Bible. So, because if you see on the inside, um, you know, it looks like a normal Bible, but then there's commentary on how um, it can relate to you as a leader. And I think this is a great place to start, um, you know, because hopefully y'all are reading your Bibles anyway, and this will just start adding to your leadership skills. Um, obviously, there's a ton of great leadership books. I'm also reading Start by John Acuff, who was at convention this year. Excellent, excellent book. Um, but I really think we need to get a, a book, a book list. Um, so um, that's um, one of my next projects. Of, there's great books that, that I can recommend for you to grow in your personal growth. Well, that's all I have for you. And I'm so glad um, you're here. And I hope to give you more informative scopes that are, are beneficial to you. So if this was helpful, give me some stars um, or hearts. This is my first scope. Um, I'll take stars, too. <laughs> and um, I look forward to doing another one. Okay, bye, guys.